Fonsagan, Fonsagi for Princess <coughs> Diahawa, Basham Yashai, Double Honesty, the elders, the apostles of Great Nelson, that surely do well. Salutation to the Akem that push the sweet of the insincerity and truth. Uh, this is Lamar from um, GMS Camp. I um, want to do a little video. Hope it's edifying enough. Right, because um, you know, sit on one day, really, actually, your family and your, your, your friends really actually are the ones that that do the well at the most side because the day will come, you know, when when all hell break loose until I reach up on the earth. You know, the, on, the honest people you, you could count on is the ones that keep the laws at the most high, right? The laws of Yahweh Hashem and Shai. You know, you don't know that the, the laws are good. Right, every every commandment that the Mosai Yahweh Shem Yashai gave to us is good. Right, because when when that the attribution come, you know, as the scriptures say, your own family can and deliver you up. Right, your your family will betray you. Right, um, yes. Yeah, so basically, the first precept I bring is um. <coughs> Right, um, Matthew 10 verse 34. Yeah, it says, um, think not that I come to send peace on it. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Right? So, Mosai sent his son, Yahushai, say basically, you know, going back to the scriptures, he come to send, he come to send that sword. Full sword being what? The wood. Right? Because scripture in um, Hebrews 4 verse 12 said the, the wood of the most high is sharper than a two-edged sword. Right? So the first sword that the Lord brings in is, is that spiritual sword which is the wood. Right? It says, For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and daughter against his mother and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. Right? So, I'm not just going to look at that with you guys. Right, um, come from the Greek songs 1369, the Kazo, from a derivative, Greek songs 1364, to make a path that is sunder. Right, so basically, Yao Shai, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, come to do what? Set the family apart. You understand? It says, for I am come to set at, at um, yeah, verse um, 36, and a man fools shall be of his own household. Right? I think that, that going back to um, the book of Micah, Micah um, chapter 7 or chapter 5, if, if I'm not mistaken. Right? It says, and, and he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of it. Yeah, because you know what? Your family, when they really think about it, them, them, them caught up in this system. Them caught up in this matrix. Right? They, they, they do the things of the world. They love the things of the world. The scripture in 1 John said, uh, 1 John 2.15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things of the world. Right? Don't know that basically these these people in the world, the family, they, they blast the carnal minded, right? They they carnal minded. In the scripture say, right? This is um Romans eight. Start of this one. Papa. Yeah, it says um Romans eight verse seven. Matter of fact, I um, start off verse 5. It says, For they that are, are, are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Right? 
Yeah, that way scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom and the Messiah. Scripture also says, the Messiah look for such a one to worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? For they that are at flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Say, family in this world, they, they study the things of the flesh. They go after vanities. Right? Them go after pagan gods. Right? Because Jesus, Jesus is a carnal God. You understand? When you watch these churches and whatever the case is, they, they always on, on vanity. Cars. Always selling it basically. You know? If it is you making it in this life, that what? That the most I'm dealing with you and that, that lie. You, you, you scatter any flock. But yeah, all the Messiah yeah, was said that you know he looked for such um uh, um to this man he will look to one that is born of a contrite spirit, right? Somebody who's broken, somebody who who is torn, somebody who's humble, who is meek, right? The Mosai um Mosai is is the one. Yahweh is the one that hey, he strength is found in weakness. He come to save the, the people who sit in solitary. He came to he come to save the poor. Musa ain't coming back for no proud person. Yahweh shy he, he coming back for a people that is broken. Right? Who will seek after him, who will love him. Right? Who need him? Who will trust in him and obey his every word. Right? Hoping that we we also are those men. Alright, because hey, we, we, we read the precepts. We read the precepts. Through, through that precepts, we get understanding. Therefore, we hate every evil way. But, you know, our people, they don't like to read. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai have rejected them because they reject knowledge. Okay? You understand? Because hey, if you're reading, you'll see what's evil. The Mosai says, seek after truth. Justice and judgment, but the people that you basically grew up under, they do seek after these things, right? That is why all families, the ones, the um, beginning, all fathers are the elders, the apostles of great millstone, all brothers are everybody else who, who do this work in sincerity and in truth. But our 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 father really actually is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, all right. It says, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Right? But it's the things of the spirit. Seeking after the, the laws of Yahweh Hashem and Shai. Right? Loving your brother. Right? Hating in, um, iniquity. Eschewing evil just like Job. Right? To make, to make, um, to make evil your enemy. Right, the Hebrew word I believe there in that um to eschew or to hate is shania basically um shana right which means to make basically evil your enemy right and what we we'll looking after we we'll looking after that kingdom where it's be where it's truth and righteousness right where where we won't have to see homosexuals plague in the place where we won't have to see our brothers hating each other, innocent deaths, wickedness, the so-called, we won't have to see the so-called white man anymore. Because the so-called white man is a cancer, he's a plague, that plague in the earth and destroying the earth. Alright? It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Yeah, because that is with the most I, that is with the most I seek it from us. Right? Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Mosai, for it is not subject to the law of the Mosai, neither indeed can be, right? So then they that are after the flesh cannot please the Mosai. Are we seeing that? Not for them like to say, you know what, I love the Mosai, I love the Mosai. But yet it went folly. That is why you could tell, hey, that um, our brother, Bara, he, he does always say it also. He said, if, if I read, you know, and I believe the other apostles are mentioned it too. If it is, you, this Jesus have a different vibration. He don't push the vibration of the, the Son of God in the Bible. So Jesus could never be 
the, the, the son of the most high because imagine it's are people who just play Christian music, oh Jesus, this and that and whatever the case is. But yet if if it is your past or your past, you had the cost this thing, you say, Oh man, I would they smoking cigarettes, they they, they drink it excessively. Right, they're looking for back and all. Right? Somebody who looking to please the most high, the love his neighbors himself. A woman who who, who who loves you most high will, will fear. Right? And they look to pick a quarrel with the neighbors, whatever the case is. The scriptures talk about, about the um the age of a woman in Titus chapter 2, verse 3. But these these women, these women, these days who, who follow after Jesus and Christ is the worst, these nigger women. Right? And what the scriptures say about um um the the they said the kind of minus enmity, which we um basically an enemy to the most high. The scriptures say we hate those that hate them. Right? We hate those that hate them. Right? Our, our family is the ones who do the will of Yahweh Shemi al Shai. Right? Um, yeah, verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Right? Because guess what? You love them so much and them is just flesh. Them is just flesh. Then them will always. You, you, they will be destroyed and they'll come back. If you trust in the Mosai, Yahweh Shem Yashai, they'll come back to you. Right? The Mosai will give you them back. I mean, look at Job. Look who went home with Job. Right? That woman in Maccabees. She said that basically she, she knew about reincarnation. She said that basically she will get back her children. Alright? We, we have to stick with men. As the same mindset as us right um this is ecclesiasticus pop, pop, pop. Verse 12. Yeah, ecclesiasticus 37 verse 12 Right. It says, but be continually with a godly man who knows to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Right? So the scripture says, be continually godly men. That is why we here even in that we like to be amongst ourselves. Right? We, we don't really like to be a two thirds. All two thirds like to talk about the smoking, partying, right? Having sex with another man, wife, come shut and don't play up, right? Having sex with another man, wife, and these kind of things, right? The only thing you can hear coming out of two third mouth is folly. When you really hear them, it's only fuck you can hear out of the mouth, all right? These things that, that that come like them oppressing you with with their words, they're oppressing you with their words because it's only oppression and wickedness them like to take, to to speak, right? Scriptures say, oppression oh, make it a wise man mad. And their words are heavy. Their words are heavy words. Boy, you know, yesterday, I, I, I boy, I, I do something wrong with the girl and think I to jump to the window. Yes, because boy, the man do so come home, but she tell me the man, she tell me the man ain't coming home until midnight, whatever the case is now, nah, boy. Oh, next thing you know, the man do something make attack back 10 o'clock in the morning, but yeah, I'll say, you know, I will say, but I get a few hours to beat all the woman. That is wickedness. Job said that is the most heinous crime. Most I say, an adulterous man is a fool, boy. He lack knowledge. Right? Yeah, can um Verse 13, now let the counsel of thy own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. For a man's mind is sometime want to tell him more than seven watchmen that is above in a higher um, tower, and above all the spirit to the most high that he will direct thy way in truth. Right? So yeah, we have to pray to the most high to direct our way in truth. Right? But 
to be with what? To be with with uh uh a God Emmanuel, sorry with thee. I mean sorry with thee, right? Because he uh, probably you can't be a, a younger virgin, a, a older virgin than you in truth. Then we say if by chance you slip by breaking a law, he'll be able to you know lift up your spirit. He'll be able to be there for you to, to comfort you through the scriptures, right? He'll be able to, to help guide you along. Alright? This is um Proverbs. Let me see if I'm going correct. Proverbs 27. 17, yeah, can. It says, Iron sharpened iron, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. Right? Because yeah, you come and then you saw in. You know, an average in life, but ah, boy, you know, I know what you're going through, boy, ah, boy, you know, boy, thing, you know, that happened to me already, but, you know, try to hold your faith, don't, don't let your sins weigh you down, you understand, and he go through the scriptures, boy, and he'll, he'll, he'll comfort you, boy, and he, he'll lift your countenance, right, he, he, is he, he get that push to, you know, not to give up on this word. And we have to thank Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for that. Because really and truly the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that work on a man to do or lift up your spirit. Them is your friends. Them is your family. Because when time come, when time of trouble come, who going to be there for you, boy? Who going to be there for you? The men that, that, that do the will of the Mosai. You know why men that do the will of the Mosai? Because men are the most I follow after the laws of Yahabal Shami Shai. Right? So, um, Ecclesiastes 17, it is your 16. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Mm. Just now, beside this, he gave them knowledge. Come, come, come. Hold on. Double question. Select. No, because yeah, men. As I say, men that that will basically, right? Will do the, the will of the Mosai. Right, verse 14. Right? Ecclesiastes 7, um, 17, verse 14. Right? Oh. Yeah, it says. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Right? Yes, yeah, so Mosai, yeah, he, he gave commandments con um, every man concerning his neighbor. Like how to move with them. Right? How to move with them on the Sabbath, how to move with them on a daily basis. The scripture says, Love your neighbor as yourself. So the men of great millstone. Right? The men that, that worship Yahweh Shami and Shai in sincerity and in truth. These, these are they. These are they. These are the men beginning with the Ella apostles of Great Millstone. That will be there for your jet. Not your fat, not, not, not your blood. Not your blood. Right? You know, because guess what? They say blood thicker than water, but his spirit even more thicker than that. Right? Second is just chapter 5. Is this verse 7? Right. So, um, verse 7. And the Sodomite sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. Right, that's Sodomite sea. Right now we're dwelling in the land that is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Right? So the Sodomite sea will cast so what? 
that, that clean fish, right? Our, our family is part of the, the Sodomite sheet, them unclean. They, they follow after the flesh, while we follow after the spirit. All right? They follow after his flesh, right? We follow after the spirit. We, 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 we seek to please the most high, right? We, we, we have to be like Yao Shai. When Yao Shai say, um, you know, Psalms 40. It's eight. It says, I delight to do thy will, O oh, my power. Yea, thy law is within my heart. This is what we have to be saying. Right? But the men who for after these same words are, are our family. These men are our family. Right? Don't really want to go too too long to stretch too much and you know put people to sleep. Right? But you just give up. So I have to do a little quick bit. Right? Yeah, this is Luke 21 to 16. And he shall be betrayed. Let me see what verse of say. Right, the 16. It says, And he shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren, and kinsfolk and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Hey, and you see that, that is the biggest point right there. That is the biggest point right there. For his name's sake. Because guess what? People who worship in JC, they're not going on here. They're not going on here. here. Alright? From the time you, 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 hey, you're in your mother house, you're in your grandmother house, your father house, whatever the case is, they're worshiping JC. Right? And I should tell you how dumb these niggas is. They don't read. Because if you read, you, you'll follow the scriptures. Certain churches, like the Universal Church, I'll pull up a church, for example. Every, um, I believe it's every Thursday, them have love therapy to bring the family back together. But if you're following the doctrines and the words of the Mosai, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshem, He say He come to separate them. Right? Because a lot of people, they're going and think us terrorists, they're going and think us madmen. Well, from, um, what is that, Zakara 13 or 11? Right? Um, you know, I, I look for it, right? But it says, and he shall be betrayed by both parents and virgin and kings, folks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Your own family, Jed, your own blood, blood take out of water. But the scriptures prophesying, Yahweh, Yahweh shall prophesy here, Yahweh shall prophesy and saying, What your own family going to cause it to be put to death, and he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. All right, he shall be hated by men for. For his name's sake, right? Look, the dice tell all people who follow the Bible. John 15, 16. Right? Um it says, Manasak, uh, I read verse 18. It says, If the world hate you, he know that it hated me before it hated you. Because why? Thou shall chosen us out of the world. He is our master and lord, and we see his servants, and the master is the servant is not greater than his lord. So if they hate him, if they call him Belzebub, they call him madman, they call him all kind of, uh, a Samaritan, they call him all kind of things, casting him out as evil. They cast out our names as evil too. But for righteousness sake, that's why our names get cast out. Right? So he, he simply telling, he plainly telling you, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. Your family is of the world, we is not of the world. Our family do not love us. They may seem like they love us. Get the hell out of here with that. The men that love you is the men that do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because he are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. We see in that all around the world. The whole world hate us. These two prophets... These two prophets torment the whole world, and when they see us going down, they rejoice. But our dead bodies, which lie in Egypt, the place which spiritually caused Sodom in Egypt, when Yahweh Shai come and deliver us, and they're going on quick. These people do going on quick. All right, these people they will quick. 
And we can't wait to see that day. We can't wait to see that day. Right? So, you see, this is Matthew chapter 12, verse 48. Right? It says, But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples, right? And said, Behold, my mother and my virgin. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Right? Plain talk, bad manners. Use not my family. My blood is not my blood. But those of the Spirit, we are of one Spirit, one mind, one accord. Right? That's why we sorrow together, we rejoice together, we lament, we mourn for the atrocities. These people they don't have the same mindset of us, like us. They are not of Israel that are uh, they are not all Israel that are of Israel. People don't understand that. Right? Ball about spiritual Israel, spiritual Israel, Romans 7 verse 14 tell you that the law is spiritual. All Israel wasn't keeping the commandments, so that is why that is why not all Israel is of Israel. And what I mean, not all Israel wasn't keeping the commandments. They wasn't keeping the commandments by faith. All right, it's simple. But our family is the ones that do the will of Yahweh Shem Yahshem. Plain to bad manners, cut to the chase. We family going and betray we in that day. We friends going and betray we in that day. A lot of people are gonna mistake us for terrorists and Muslim. Alright? We ain't we are the men who who looking back for 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 that the the um for a kingdom of righteousness. Cause the world was made for Israel's sake. Alright, um hope the video wasn't long, right? However, I hope it was any fine and Whoever brother get whatever they, they need out there, you know, just want to give all praises to our Father who in heaven, the supreme and mighty and most terrible, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, right? Double honors to to the men of great millstone, the elders, the apostles from El Apostle Taha coming down to El Apostle Ariam Lab and the other elders, right? Um double honors to them, bracket them, right? Um yeah, and shalom to the brothers out there that pushing this with in sincerity and in truth, right? With all love until that day, hopefully, that we meet up in the kingdom again. This is Lamad, GMS Camp Trinidad, saying shalom. Rakatam kalakia.